If our intent is to become the best version of ourselves, it is a good thing that stagnant energy is being shifted. Though it doesn't feel quite so great. It can feel like we're cornered and forced to face our deepest fear. Thankfully, when we stay present, we develop the ability to recognise what is happening at the deeper level. And we see our resistance to it clearly reflected back to us. So then, how do we free ourselves from this conditioned state of being? When we are triggered, there is always something we can learn from it. And if we focus instead on who we are becoming, knowing the universe has our back, we can begin to unravel the programming and develop a new go-to response, one of compassionate action in all situations. And so our dealings with others can be more harmonious. When we're able to hold a higher vibration in these moments, we activate dormant DNA. We unlock abilities that will further anchor in the vibration of love. I've talked about creating new neuro pathways before. And I've seen how it works the same way with wooden and trails. I go to places that are rarely trodden by anyone else, so it is mainly me that uses them. I often like to venture off the beaten track and find my own way through the trees. And when I no longer use the old trail, they become overgrown and hidden. And my trail becomes the clear and natural way to go. It's the same when we adjust our thought processes. The more we choose a new way, the less we turn to the old. Once we can see how we've been sabotaging our own spiritual expansion, we can either remain in cycles of resistance, suffering and fear or we find the courage to embrace the moment and allow our soul wisdom to speak through us, knowing we are fully supported by something much bigger than ourselves.